Today, I will bless the Lord and thank Him again as I will every day from now on. God bless you all today. 1 Corinthians 10.21 You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. You cannot have a part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. Dear loving Father God, thank you again for another day to bless you and worship you and love on you. Thank you for your people. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you will strengthen our inner man so that we can bless you more, Father. We can worship you more. We can understand with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding exactly what you want us to do in Jesus' name. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Now go in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the message today, the five things you've given us. Let the listeners receive them with divine intervention. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The glory of life is to love, not to be loved. The glory of life is to give, not to get. The glory of life is to serve, not to be served. The glory of life is having a non-ending, non-compromising faith in Almighty God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Faith is love with working clothes on. Faith is to see things that are out of sight. Faith keeps the sails of life filled with the breath of heaven. Five things that God has given us today for you. Five things. Number one, never hook up with the devil's deadbeat losers but hook up with God's upbeat believers. Get going with people that's going God's way. In other words, don't hook up with devil people. Don't hook up with people that's not about Jesus. You see, and I want you to see this, your associations will assist you in your faith walk. Your associations will assist you in your faith walk are your failure. Associations will assist or assault. Associations will pick you up or pull you down. Your associations will tell you where you're going or where you're not going. Tell me who you run with and I'll tell you who you are. You see, people that hang out together, they're people that have the same things in common. They have the same thoughts. They have the same habits. They have the same wants. You don't pull your associates up. If the association is wrong, they pull you down. Get hooked up with people that talk victory talk. Get hooked up with people that talk God talk. Get hooked up with people that love to talk about Jesus. If you're not walking with people that believe they can do all things through Christ, if you're not in a church that believes in the blood, that believes in the Holy Spirit, that believes that Jesus died, was buried and resurrected, then get away from those people. Get with someone that says, I am an overcomer. Get with someone that says, I am a child of God. Get with someone that says, I believe in Jesus Christ. Get with someone that's in the will of God. Number two, never say I can't. I myself am so sick of hearing believers say, oh, I don't know, I don't know if we can do this, I don't know, it's such a big project, I just don't know. Who That makes my hair hurt. That makes my shadow cringe. Listen, listen, please listen today. Know that your mouth, know that your mouth is the biggest enemy you have. Know that your tongue sets in motion the direction you're going to go. If you think you can, you will. If you think you can't, you won't. Proverbs 21, 23, keep your mouth closed and you will stay out of trouble.
Proverbs 16:24, pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 13:3, he who guards his lips guards his soul, but he who speaks rashly will come to ruin. James 3, 6, and the tongue is a flame of fire. It is full of wickedness and poisons every part of the body. And the tongue is set on fire by hell itself and can turn our whole lives into a blazing flame of destruction and disaster. Job 24, excuse me, Job 27, 4. My lips shall speak no evil. My tongue shall speak no lies. Say this with me. I can. Stop saying I can't. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Number three, never look at what is lost, look at what is left. Start looking at what we've got left to start with. Life is not behind you, life is in front of you. People who turn out best are people who make the best of the way things turned out. You will find that heaven's gains more than compensate for the earthly lost or earthly losses. Circumstances will not change anything. They might slow you down, but they won't stop you unless you and only you let them. You are the one responsible for the way you let circumstances rule your life with God. Nothing can stop you from doing what God wants you to do but you. Don't let circumstances become excuses for not doing. Circumstances do not make you, they only reveal you to yourself. And you'll never know the real you until you are revealed under pressure. Take care of your character and God will take care of your reputation. You'll never know the real you until you're under pressure. Hey, run toward the enemy in Jesus' name. Never retreat. God never made any armor for the backside. Number four, never pretend to be what you don't intend to be. My friends, if you have to be a certain way to be around certain people that you might like, then that person don't really care that much for you. If they did, they would accept you the way you are, wouldn't they? Now, you may say, yeah, but... My friend is this way because my friend is, you know, this way. You just don't understand, Brother Rick. No, my friend, it is you that don't understand. But that's just the way they are, Brother Rick. They let me enlighten you to a fact. Listen, Benjamin Franklin said, man who is good for excuses is good for nothing else. I want you to know that earning recognition from a person and not getting it is better than getting recognition and not earning it. Number five, true freedom is found in bondage to Jesus Christ. Listen, true freedom is found in bondage to Jesus Christ. If you have a problem that no one knows about, you must take it to the cross to truly rid yourself of it. Give it to Christ. God is bigger than your problem. You see, true faith is not just believing God can. It is knowing that God will. You are not a failure no matter what you may have done. Know that and, 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 and know that it is better to suffer for the truth than to be rewarded for a lie. I know I'm talking to someone right there. Let me say it again. It is better to suffer for the truth than to be rewarded for a lie. You know a hypocrite is a person who is not himself or herself on Sunday. If you are in need of a friend, God gave his only begotten son for you. God extends his mercy and grace to us all every day. All you have to do is accept his love and accept his son as your Lord and Savior. Listen. You see, God wants you back. God loves you. God loves you. And God wants you back, see. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you that the listeners received it with power and wisdom 
and glory and mercy and grace and knowledge and understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.